All right, I think we are live. Hello, Mr. Pinky. Hello, my friend. How are you doing? Uh, and welcome, everyone, to our automation broadcast in the 1950s Pickup Trucks Challenge. Hello, Mr. Pinky. How are you doing? Right, so what do we have here? This is a 1955 KCM uh, Iowa IL6. Uh, this thing is powered by 230 horsepower, 4.2, you can say 4.3 liter V6 engine. Single barrel eco carb, that's very strange. Three speed automatic gearbox, rear wheel drive, obviously. Double wishbone up front, solid coils, ax solid axle coils at the back. This thing weighs 1.45 tons, that's that's pretty sweet actually. All right, let's take a look on this uh, beautiful, awesome pickup. Ooh, lovely, with a Texas license plate as well. That is, uh, that is lovely actually. That is clean, functional, like it. That is absolutely clean and functional. Love the hinges work, the chrome, the KCM badge up front, the Texas license plate. That that's a nice touch. Also, I'm all I'm I'm also using Texas license a license plate on my truck as well. Lovely interior, basic, functional. Love this thing. Absolutely sweet. I see two speakers and a fire extinguisher, manual cranking windows, obviously, 1950s. Lovely gauges. Beautiful. As I mentioned before, simple, functional, and awesome. Nice work. Absolutely nice work. Oh, love the wood bed. Wood metal bed. Very, very nice touch also. All right. Very good. Very nice. Very nice start indeed. Let's take a look on this beautiful V6. So what do we have here? It's a 4.3 liter V6. Our first V6 for tonight. Uh, started in life as a 4.8 liter, or nearly a 4.9 actually. Got uh, deboard 96.7 millimeters up all the way to all the way down to 4.3 with a forged steel light for the forged light steel crankshaft, forged connecting rods, and lightweight forged pistons. Harmonic damper, 9.9 to 1 compression ratio, 35 on the cam. Hmm, not bad actually. I'm interested in the in the single barrel eco carbs. Like, yeah, because I'm actually, uh, to be honest with you, I'm actually happy with such results. Like, this thing is pushing 230 horsepower. That's really good actually. Like, remember these are tiny carbs. These uh, these eco carbs and like. You know, with such carb, and I, I also love the metal heavy, heavy cast iron, you know, intake manifold. I love such details in 1950s cars. Lovely. I mean, the engine, the engine looks absolutely gorgeous. I actually like this engine. Yeah, actually, I actually quite like this engine. I'll take a screenshot of it, actually. I actually quite like it. The, the green with this... Uh, this intake manifold actually looks pretty sweet. Yep. I actually like it. So, a very interesting setup indeed. Yes, I actually quite uh, like this thing. Actually quite. And this funky looking uh, air filter, air intake setup. actually quite like it. Beautiful. And to be honest with you, it's powerful. This, this thing is pushing a lot of power. I mean, I mean in my truck, I used a... 5.7 liter or 6 or 6 liter I've forgotten V8 and I'm pushing like 236 horsepower this one is pushing 230 and with a V6 that's pretty sweet actually very nicely tuned yep very very nicely tuned actually I like this engine all right let's fire it up actually I'm a very actually interesting Quite the interesting setup. Very, very interesting setup indeed. And to be honest with you, this is this is one of these engines that in the future they will call them a, a fire breather engine because such engine is like it's okay, it's very good in 1955, but can you imagine getting this engine in modern times? You know, forged internals. 
you know, and it's making such power with with such small choked carbs. Can you imagine with with putting a bigger carb on this engine, or like to turbocharge this engine? Wow, this thing will be a, a serious serious performance engine. Very nice. Quite like this engine actually. And as always, automation is acting up. Let me reload the car again. My apologies. I really like this engine. Very, very, very nice work, Mr. Mr. Pinky. Nice work indeed. I wonder how this thing will actually drive with a three-speed auto. I, I went with manual in my car. And to be honest with you, with you, I actually quite regret that. Because with a, with a manual, you have a clutch that you will be riding a lot. With a manual, with an automatic, you have a, a, a catalytic converter, which is not a catalytic converter, it's a torque converter. Sorry, torque converter, which which actually makes driving in BMG much easier. To be honest, I regret using manual in my in my truck. An automatic is actually quite interesting setup to use. Right. So what do we have here? It's a it's a three speed automatic rear wheel drive, nine point eight seconds from zero to one hundred. Not bad, actually. Any, anything below 10 seconds in 19, 1970, actually, not 55. In 1970, anything below 10 seconds was considered a performance vehicle. So in 1955, sub 10 seconds, that's that's serious performance. Uh, this, this thing was limited to 188 kilometers per hour for some reason. And it's using manual locker diffs, so diff, radial hard long, hard long life tires, thin 155 tires up front. 165 at the back, 16 inch rims. Whoa! With the crazy rim, rear rim offset. Oh lord, that's a crazy. That's a crazy. Alright, plus 13 quality. This guy went all out on the tires. Brakes. Very, uh, to be honest, very decent brakes. Zero brake fading. And remember, this is 1950s. Right? 1950s, basically everything, everything fades in 1950s. Every, every single vehicle. And this one, apparently not. Pretty nice. Nice work. Off-road skid tray. Premium interior. To be honest with you, I... I mean, no offense. No offense. But, like... Um... Where is the, where is the, where is the premium in this? I mean... Um... Okay. <laughs> but... I mean, okay, you could have actually went to, you could have used standard, maybe. Uh, but it's not bad. And phonograph, I think this is not a phonograph. This is a, wait, this is an AM radio, I believe. Yep, this is an AM radio, I believe. So phonograph might not be, and it's very expensive, actually. Look at that, 655 This thing costs. So my, my friend, you've chosen something really expensive, $655. It's uh, it's good. It's good. Hydraulic power steering, very nice. Advanced 50 safety equipment. Now, so it's a safe truck. Yep, 25 points, very good. Whoa, that's uh, 28 comfortable points. So it's a comfy truck also. Nice. Very nice, Mr. KCM. All right, let's export it. What do you think about it, gentlemen? What do you think about the first truck for tonight? Not a lot of you guys went with clutch limited slip diff. Why? Wait, this thing has... Oh, the V6! Ooh, now we have a V6 power, gentlemen. And for some reason, there is no interior. It's black, black tinted windows. Which actually doesn't look that bad. Also an automatic. Hopefully this thing won't explode like the like the truck, previous truck. Please do not explode. Please do not fucking explode. Oh thank god. Okay. So now we have V6 power, gentlemen. V6 power. Everyone ready? I'm gonna lock the wheel, the, the diff. Yeah, here we go. It's automatic, so three, 
Wait, I'll control it manually. So three, two, one, go. Come on. The gearbox changed its changed its mind. It pushed back to first. There's no need for third actually. Twenty two two five oh. Wow, I, I've like I forced it into into second gear and like the gearbox said no, go back to first. <laughs> oh yeah, yay. but not bad for a V6. I'm gonna try again. I'm gonna try again, but now I'm gonna try it maybe in automatic mode, or even start in second. All right, let's see. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> Changed his mind again. Come on! Come on! V6! Ah, oh, no, it's worse. So 22 to 5. 22 to 5. The automatic? Why, why would you go with an automatic? I don't understand. Alright, one more time, just with, with automatic mode. Let's see if something will change. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, <laughs> keeps changing its mind. Yeah, definitely. Oh, it's getting worse. So yes, when I control it manually, it's just it's just understand itself better. All right, one more time. My apologies for trying again because I'm experimenting with this old school automatic. So right now, I think the best idea is to keep it in first as much as possible. Forget second gear until this thing hooks down. So, three, two, one, go. Yeah, now better. It didn't didn't change its mind. Yeah, twenty one six. So automatic sucks. Automatic sucks. So here we go. I changed. I controlled it manually. I kept it in first gear as much as I possible. Twenty one six. Twenty one six six. Yes, automatic mode is absolute garbage. No offense. Why would you choose automatic? I don't understand. So, 2166. 2166. Still not the fastest car. Wow. What was the, what was the name of this car again? My apologies. The V6 one. What was the name of this thing? Uh, ah, the KCM. Yes. KCM. So, KCM 2166. Alright, here we go. Oh, right. So what do we have here? A 5.7 liter V8. Oh. That is bad. I said no no red flashing warning lights, dude. And I said any car with 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 fading brakes it will get disqualified. So 160 horsepower, 5.7 liter V8, single overhead camshaft, 3,300 RPM, solid axles, coils up front, leaves at the back, rear drive. Um. And it's also breaking the safety points. I said. I said uh, requires 20 points for safety. Yep, I said 20 points. And it has red flashing warning lights and brake fading. Mm. 
Mr. Mythic, the previous one that didn't have any brake fading, the previous truck had absolutely zero brake fading. Because I said no no fla no red flashing warning. I don't care if, you, if it's yellow, but no red flashing warning lights. Also, the safety points. This thing is breaking the safety points. I said 20. This is 19.6. Uh, right. So what do we have on the inside? Is it something... To be honest with you, it looks, looks quite nice, but... I don't know. Oh, why is it shiny? Why is it shiny? <laughs> what kind of seat is this? So basically, it's shiny and slippery. So when you sit here and like you have you have no seat belts or anything. So when you sit here and you brake hard, you just all the way your chest and your stomach and everything into this massive steering wheel. Whoa! Look how big this steering. Wheel. Like, can you imagine driving this thing? Like your head is right. Like your head is right here, and like what the hell? Like. <laughs> it's like what what why is it like it's 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 like it's blocking half the whoa that that is large like yep that that is a driving position so um <laughs> so this thing broke the safety points. This this thing broke the red flashing warning. I said no red flashing warning lights. Uh, I I always I, I said that in the video. And red and rear wipers. That's very interesting. That's a very interesting tech. And front as well. Wow. Okay. Oof, massive V8 engine. Hmm. The previous the previous truck didn't have any of any of these issues. The pre the previous truck had the best good safety points. Good uh I mean good everything. A lot of power. I don't know. Mr. Mythic, I don't care if it's if it's not accurate 1950s. I, it's a challenge, dude. It's a challenge. It's a challenge. I'm challenging you to build a truck with zero brake fading, no red flash, no red flashing warning lights, 20 safety points, 10 comfortable. But it's it's a it's a challenge. We are not building absolute ac accurate 1950s trucks. That's that's the thing. It's a challenge. It's called 1950s pickup truck challenge. That, that is, I mean, let's take a look on the brake fading. Let's take a look. So, oh, that's a lot. Like, why? Why such bad brakes? Like, why? Why 40%? Look, I mean, the game is telling you the front brake force is very low. The rear brake force is very low. I don't understand. Like, why? Why lowering... I don't understand the situation here. Like pad type. What? Uh, how much money did you have? How much did you spend on this? Okay, so exactly. Plus 15 quality on tires. Are you kidding? That's a lot of money. So you blew up the budget on tires? Whoa. And aerodynamics? Wow, that's a lot of money wasted. Suspension. Okay, so plus fifteen tires on and minus fifteen. This this lowers the safety. Why why would you do that? Minus fifteen quality on the body. That that kills safety. That kills it. Like absolutely nuke the the safety. Like what what? I don't understand what. Very weird design. Chassis plus two quality. Okay, chassis is good. Chassis is very good. All right, what about engine? So, um, okay.
okay, there's a lot of torque, but so it's a 5.7 liter V8 cast iron overhead valve, overhead cam, uh, four valves, four internals, harmonic damper, zero cam profiles, zero springs and lifters. Like plus 11 quality. Lots of money everywhere. Single barrel eco, quad carbs, quad carbs. Whoa. The previous engine had twin carbs and it was a V6 with much, much, much more power than this. Okay, uh, no offense to the creator, but what the hell? Very loud also. Mr. Mythic said you should quali you should clarify that next time. That is not about making vehicle accurate challenge. It's a, it's a, it's called it's it's in the name. It's 1950s pickup challenge challenge, and you have rules that you need to follow. I, what uh, are you, Mr. Mythic? You're not new here. You you've been with us million times already. I don't understand why you're upset. You you, you've been with us already million times before. I don't, why are you upset? Like, it's you are not new. I don't, I don't understand. What? Why would you? I mean, I don't understand. Am I saying something bad? I didn't say anything bad. Why are you upset? It, it, uh, it's a challenge. These are rules. Just follow them and make something awesome. I'm not saying that you need. <sighs> Rear wheel drive, manual, four speed. Manual lockers, uh, 0 to 8.6 seconds, Oof, uh, fourth gear is just an overdrive, cross ply, hard long lives, very wide, wow, ve I, this is where you blew up your money, this is where you actually blew up all the money, very wide tires, 305s, 305s, and plus 15 quality. Look how much the tires cost alone. Three thousand four hundred and seventy four hundred and seventy dollars. That that is that is that is a fortune just on tires. I don't understand, seriously. Okay, so basically you've chosen very expensive grippy tires. Okay? And then you put crappy brakes. Like why? I don't know. I, I don't know, gentlemen. Like, <sighs> all right. Okay, so let's put it up to a vote. Would you like? Would you like to allow this truck in or not? This thing broke uh, the 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 brake rule, the brake fading rules, the safety rules, and the red flashing warning lights rules. So I don't know. It's up to you, gentlemen. What do you think? Shall we drive this thing in, BMG? Shall we allow this thing in or not? It's up to you, gentlemen. So the workhorse is by far the the quietest car here tonight. I believe it's a V8 also. 158 horsepower, 322 pound feet of torque. So a lot of torque, gentlemen. Yep, a lot of torque. So let's lock the diff. Let's lock the diff. And let's see what happens. Here we go. All right. Everyone ready? All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, this thing hooks in first gear. That is very quiet. It's like hybrid. <laughs> it's like a hybrid 1950s. Whoa, 2163. 
2163. Damn. What was the fastest time? 2163. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Very fast. Still not the fastest, but still pretty fast. 2163. Let's try again. Very good. This thing definitely hooks in first gear. Wow. Where is the torque? Torque is right here. We go. Three, two, one, go. Whoa, I should actually not shift. 2163 still. Slightly better. Alright, one more try. One more try, but this time I'm gonna. Um, this thing loves to rev, so I'm gonna rev it all the way to the max. So here we go. Three, two, one, go. Come on, go! What do you think so far, gentlemen? Come on, come on, stay with me. What do you think? Whoa, 2151! 2151, that's pretty fast, actually. Remember, remember, gentlemen, the fastest car in this challenge so far, the fastest car in this challenge is called the Droot. The Droot. It did it in 21.49. So this thing is very close. This thing is very close. This one, the work, work horse, uh, 21.51. Very, 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 very close. Yeah, a lot of torque, 322. What about if I just started from without dropping the gear? Wait. Three, two, one, go. Like this. What will happen? Let's see. Will it be better? Will it be slower? I don't know. No, it's, it's a bit slower. So 21.51, this thing will do. Very good, actually. And definitely what helped, look at this. What's really helping the rear tour with the rear grip is the, 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 the trailer is pushing, as you can see, it's tilting down. It's tilting down because of, the, because of the tow hitch, the tow, the trailer. This definitely helps more grip, definitely. far so good two trucks this is number three it's called the pythagoras t1000 uh, what do we have here 10 comfortable good safety very good eco very good uh 221.5 horsepower from another 5.7 liter v8 uh, cast iron over overhead cam Ooh, very interesting choice single or not, i'm not sure if it's single or not but it's a four barrel carb 8.7 to 1 compression ratio rear wheel drive obviously four speed manual Coils up front, leaves at the back. Wow, not bad actually. Not bad at all. Just let me check something on Twitch because sometimes Twitch is just like it's not absolutely smooth. Okay. Um so far on paper this thing looks awesome. Let's take a look. Ooh, what do we have? It looks like a farm truck. That is uh that is very interesting looks actually. <laughs> I love this uh this is it, is it? I'm not sure if it's. What is this? Is it Y or is it G or I'm not really sure or is it R? I don't know. But love the wood, the wooden bed, very beautiful. Basically, it's a farm truck, and I love that. I love farm trucks. These are basically our workhorse. These are basically workhorses. 
that that you know goes around the farm, takes heavy things, and go there, go there, go there. Love this thing. Ooh, what do we have? I see some nice details. I see a cooling fan. Lovely. Wow, that's a nice detail. I see a cooling fan. Yep, that is a cooling fan. And whoa, that is a performance beast. Basically, you have chrome intake manifold. Wow, look at the air cleaner. It's absolutely a performance beast. I like it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is beautiful. All right, not bad, not bad at all. I see what is this. Oh, a battery also. I see a battery over here. Oh, and a battery holder. So the creator actually, he put, he actually designed uh, as a radiator core. Yep, that's a radiator core, apparently. And the radiator itself is actually painted, so that's a, that's a, that's an interesting radiator. Oh, and a radiator cap. Nice. Love the details. Love the details. All right, let's take a look on the inside, interior-wise. Mm. Oh. Okay. What the the, the legroom lo looks strange. The legroom looks absolutely strange. But um, yep, three pedals, three pedals, steering wheel, gear shifter, and some gauges. Without the needle. <laughs> okay, no problem. It's a farm truck, so. No problem. All right. I like it. Not bad. Not bad at all. I know V6 is a, V6 is like a very, very interesting and strange choice, but yeah. Oh, good. I was, I was worried about the wheelbase. All right. Let's, let's take a look uh, on this beautiful engine. So it's a 5.7 liter V8 forged internals, except the pistons that are cast iron. Uh, 8.71 compression, 25, 42, 5,000. Single four barrel carb, performance mid range intake. Sweet. Tubular long headers, that is nice. That is also a lot of torque. 284 pound feet of torque. That is like, remember, this is 1950s engine. 284 pound feet of torque. Sweet. Let's fire it up. Look at that! Now this is a show. This is a show engine. This is not for a. <laughs> this thing is not built to be like a farm engine. Yes, it's a farm truck with like a a show a showing a show off engine. Look at that! I mean, the moment this thing fires up in the in in any farm, this chrome or st or aluminium shining things, all the, everything will get destroyed and dirty immediately. I love this thing. Absolutely gorgeous engine. It's a shame that, we, that you know, it's in a truck. This thing needs to be like in a sports car or a muscle car or something. Love it. Sweet. Mr. Crazy Eyes says, can't wait for the go Goliath for torque. I might have a bit of... of seriously? Oh my god. How much? How <laughs> seriously? You went crazy with the torque? Oh yeah, yeah. That's, this is going to be awesome. Ah, and again, automation is acting up. My apologies. Let me reload the thing, this thing again. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. That is... That is I'm actually... <laughs> I can't wait to see what you did. It's called the Goliath for, for a reason. All right, here we go. Let's see. Uh, let's go over the, the the gearbox and everything quickly. So 8.2 seconds from 0 to 100. Four-speed manual gearbox, manual lockers. Utility tires, very interesting. Plus, plus six quality. Plus 10 on the brakes. Wow. Very nice brakes, actually. Solid discs up front, drums at the back. Ooh, the slight oversteer at, at high speeds. That that's safe. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's a bench up front premium standard AM radio. Wow. Hi hydraulic ball, the power steering, standard safety. That's very good actually. Very good. Wow, this thing can take a load of two two tons, two point one exactly. That is that is very, very, 
very good. I, as, as I said, a pure farm truck, and I like that. All right, let's export this thing to beamng.drive and move on with the next one. Very good, gentlemen, very good. So far, so good. So far, so good, gentlemen. Oh, V8. 219 horsepower, 285 pound-feet of torque. A beast, basically. All right. A burnout machine. All right, that got the tires warmed up. Please don't explode, please. Oh, thank goodness. All right, here we go. All right, gentlemen, let's see what this thing can do. Three, two, one, go. Oh, second gear. Box really. Maybe I need to try again. Twenty-two, two, seven, nine. I think I shifted. I I think I shifted too early. The second gear. Wait, let me try again. Three, two, one, go. Woo, twenty one seven. Damn, that's awesome. Twenty one seven one. Twenty one seven one. And to be honest with you, it's not it's still not the fastest truck. Still not the fastest truck. <clears throat> twenty one seven one. What was the name of this thing? What was the name of this thing? I've forgotten. What was the name of it? Oh. Just a moment. Uh... I'm writing a message on my phone. Just a moment. What was the name of this thing? Orange, the Orange Beast. Um, or will it will it actually go, or will it just spin its spins its wheels and just yeah? Oh my God, that's a lot of that's a that's a that's very little amount of power. Seventy eight. Seventy eight horsepower. That's. And this thing will tow. I don't think so. This thing is just gonna bleh, on its face. Oh my god, this this thing is gonna be crazy. So 78 horsepower then, 1.7 liter boxer four engine, overhead valve, aluminium single barrel, eco, front wheel drive, four speed manual. Okay, so 10 comfortable points, 20 safety points, 15 MPG, good. Yes, an extremely extremely lightweight. So, <laughs> well, wait, 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 wait. Let me get this. Let me get this thing. Let me get this thing. Let me get. Let me understand this thing. I said your truck 
needs to needs to have a load capacity of a thousand kilos. So basically, the load capacity that this thing will take is a, a thousand kilo. It's heavier than the entire truck. What the hell? And also, even if I want to tow something in BMNG, which will be around 800 kilos, so this truck will tow something that is heavier. Yeah, what the hell? Like, I'm actually extremely interested in testing this thing on BMNG. This is going to be absolutely funny. This thing is going to be absolutely funny and surprising. Wow, and it didn't break the rules. It's actually 2.5 meters. I, I thought it's a tiny truck. It's a tiny body. Nope, it didn't break the rules. It's made out of aluminium. Wow, 1955. Aluminium, that's expensive. Monocoque chassis also. That is that is like space age thing in 1955. Space uh, steel from the ritual, double, double wishbone, solid axle. Wow, this thing is... I mean, I don't know what to say. Just wow. 84.5 pound-feet of torque. Oh, Lord. This thing is going to be... This is going to be hilarious to drive. Okay. So, 1.7 liter Voxer 4. Forged steel crank. Forged light uh, connecting rods and lightweight forged pistons. Harmonic dampers. Very good. 10.1 to 1 compression. 86 on the cam profile. A very strong and thick cam profile with... Somewhat stiff springs and lifters. Uh, okay. I'm not going to say anything. Anything. Everything looks... Okay. Next. Uh, single barrel. Twin single twin, twin single barrel carbs. Ecos. Uh, standard mid-range. Running on 92 exactly. Tubular long single exhaust. Oh lord. This thing. This thing is a... This thing is a tiny engine, like I had to zoom in. Wow, I had to zoom in actually to to see this. I mean, it looks beautiful. Yes, it looks gorgeous. But not in a pickup truck. This thing looks nice, maybe in a classic Japanese car, but not in not in like not in like a, a pickup truck thing. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry, crazy eyes. My apologies about Twitch. It does sound like a beetle. Wow, it does sound like a Volkswagen beetle. Oh my god, this thing idles at 2000 RPM. Look at that. 2000 actually 2100 Wow, this thing idles at 2000 because the the crazy high cam profile basically it's it's like a racing engine 2000 rpm idling. Oh my lord. This thing's crazy Okay Again the game is acting up. Let me load this thing again. My apologies Wow, this thing is gonna be an absolute awesome thing to, to, to drive I mean it's light which is like good for cornering but we have towing we have maybe a bit of off-roading so yeah I mean this is a light truck but I'm not sure if this thing can tow front wheel drive apparently manual force speed 10.3 seconds from the tonne so it's a bit slower than the previous trucks clutch limited slip diff radial utility tires plus 10 quality wow expensive tires discs up front drums at the back no brake fading little just a tiny hair wow ah i said three seats up front I said three seats up front. I said a bench. It's written in the rules. Like why? Why no one read? Not, why no one reads the rules? I said seats minimum three seats up front. I said bench. Oh man, come on guys! Like I, I, I hate disqualifying trucks. I hate, I hate, uh, I hate upsetting, upsetting people and and like deleting their trucks. Man, I hate this. Like what? 
What, what do you think, gentlemen? What do you think? I mean, I'm re I really want to drive this thing. I don't want to delete this thing. Come on. Why the creator didn't do didn't just What do you think, gentlemen? It's up to you. Shall we allow this thing? Yes or no? I mean, I really want to drive it, but like I've, it's written in the rules. It's freaking written written in the rules in the video. Mr. Jade, this one gets a pass. Mr. W Mr. W, Mr. Welcome says disqualify. So we have one vote for here, one vote for here. Okay. Okay. So allow it, but not. This thing will not win anything. Okay. Sure. All right, but let's take a look. Let's take a look. Let's take a look on the suspension. Well, usually, yes. So yes, we'll drive this thing, but if, if this thing win anything, it's not going to get counted. So this thing actually has a load capacity of a, a metric ton. A thousand kilo, exactly. This thing weighs 700 kilos. 774, 774. And can take a load capacity of a, of, of a, of a thing heavier than the whole truck. So basically, you can put another truck. So basically, if you have two trucks, you can you can put the other one in the bed of this one, no problem. And it's actually less than a thousand kilo. Damn, that's awesome! Can you imagine having two trucks? Like you can put the, you can load the other one in the bed of this one. That's that's insane. I don't know. I don't know. Actually, I think I think because. I think because for some reason this here is like a thousand kilo here, and he j he wants an absolute a thousand kilo. If you actually push it up here, it'll be like a thousand four hundred. Maybe he didn't want. I don't know. I don't know. Very interesting design. All right, let's export this uh, this cute little, little thing, and we'll see. We'll see how this thing will drive in BMG. And wait, we haven't we haven't seen the interior actually, and for some reason everything is black on the windows. So let me fix that. We haven't seen the interior actually. Automation being automation. There we go. Let's take a look at the interior actually. Mm, not 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 the perfect interior, but I mean not the perfect interior, but it's not terrible. Like he tried to use one of these ready dashboards and like it's Okay, it has interior, so I'm happy with that, no problem. It might not be the best interior, but it has interior, so no problem. Is there anything hidden in the back? I don't know, some broken stuff, but no problem. Whoa, so this this is this is the fuel tank. So there's a fuel tank over down there. Yep, that's a fuel tank. Is it connected? Yep, it's connected. Sweet, nice touch. So it's actually connected. It's not just for, not just, just not just for showing off. Good. So there are some details on this thing. Very weird design. Look at that. It's it's using one of this thing is using one of these uh, like you know gearbox like you will find in a like mid-engine rear-wheel drive cars. But <laughs> for for front wheel drive, very nice. All right, let's export it. Basically, the same car as the weight. So what do we have here, gentlemen? We have a 77 horsepower boxer f boxer four engine with 85 pound feet of torque and rally and rally sounds rally exhaust sound. A lot less torque, yes. 85 torque. <laughs> this thing is gonna be funny. And and this is front wheel drive, by the way. Mm, a lot of torque actually for handbrake burnout.
for some reason my stupid controller is not turning all the way. Okay, all good now. Alright, let's hook this thing. Please Oh thank god it did not explode. <laughs> but it look at the look at the back. Oh look at the back and the front is tilted up, the back is tilted down because yeah the Oh that's a lot of wheel spin. Alright, here we go. Ooh, shooting flames! Whoa, this thing's shooting flames! <laughs> shooting flames! <laughs> Whoa, this thing is awesome! <laughs> it's shooting flames! Subarus in the olden days. Alright, now the exhaust is pretty warm, the engine is pretty warm, the oil is pretty warm. So, three, two, one, go! Come on! 85 pound feet of torque is spinning these wheels. Second wheel! Wheel spin. Come on, stop spinning! Please hook! Oh, 29 seconds! Wow, this thing is just spin, spin, spin all the way. Let's try again. This time I'm gonna shift early, maybe? Yeah, it's a very bad choice, unfortunately. The engine is good, the engine is not bad actually, but you're, you need real drive. So, three, two, one, go. I'm gonna try to adjust my throttle. I can't push the throttle. Oh, here we go, I can push now. Come on! Okay, a little bit better. 28.8. A little bit better with, 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 with some, uh, with some throttle control, with some more sensitive throttle control. Yes, I got it down to 28.82. Wow. <laughs> this is the scoot. 28.82. Scoot. 28.82. Oh, <laughs> this thing is crazy. But I like it. I like it. Yeah, no, absolutely zero grip. Oh my god, another another low powered beast. But this one is real drive. 73 horsepower. 2.7 liter inline four. That's a big four cylinder engine with 73 horsepower. I mean, it might be realistic at the time, but Come on, we need more ponies. Everyone's using V8s and V6s. So, single barrel, 2.7 liter overhead valve, rear drive, leaves up front, up front leaves at the back, steel everything, ladder chassis. So, 10 comfort points, check, safety, check, and eco, check. Okay. Wow, this thing actually looks good up front. I actually, I actually like the front end. It's actually pretty. I love, I love the bumper, the the grill. I, I actually like, I dig this design. Actually, looks very, very nice, classy. Seriously, beautiful design. And uh, the hood, and the hood ornament is nice touch. Actually, these classic rims, like them also, custom. Oh, the interior is pretty sweet, actually. I mean, 
you will have to be very thin. Oh my god, you have to be absolutely thin to sit in this truck. If you if you have uh, if you eat lunch, might you might not be able to sit in this truck. Why is this why is the steering column that much shoved into the face of the driver? Like push it down, push it down. The interior looks actually pretty sweet. But why is the steering column that 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 shoved into the face of the what the hell? Yeah, for a mayor, yes, I know the interior. Yeah. Alright. Alright, not bad. Whoa, that is an expensive that is expensive wood. I mean I I'll be sad actually to put absolutely anything. It's like polished. Why would you put polished wood? What? Like wh what? You you can't you can't even you can't even carry people here. Like it will get dirty. You will have to polish it again. What? Why would you? I mean that's beautiful. Yes, but if, if it's for showing, it's if if it's a show truck. Yes, that's good for show. But if it's like for everyday work, no. <laughs> Why? The the rear the rear end actually looks pretty sweet also. Oh, they have you have a tow hitch and a coupler also. Very interesting design. Nova Scotia, Canada's ocean playground. Nice. Half a ton fleet fleet side mammoth. Love the badging also. McNamara, sweet. Yeah, I know. I love this thing. I mean, to be honest with you, this thing looks gorgeous. To be honest with you, this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. And I just remembered something that we have forgotten. Damn. I just remembered something that we have forgotten, which is, of course, calculating the total category points. <laughs> ay ay ay. Alright. I have a file ready for this. Let me just load it in. I have a file actually. Let's see. Alright. Actually, we've forgotten to load, to, to calculate the total category points. Alright, so this thing actually is pretty decent, but first let's take a look on this truck and then we'll calculate the total category points. Gentlemen, I would love if you can if you can help me and calculate your own total category points quickly. That will save us some time. If you don't mind, please. So this thing has a 2.7 liter four-cylinder engine, cast iron heavy, heavy cast iron crank, cast connecting rods, cast pistons, harmonic damper, and 8.2 to 1 compression, very small and thin cam profile, soft springs and lifters, 3500 RPM limit. Single, single barrel carb. Why, why are you choking your engine? Yep, why are you choking your engine? This engine wants to breathe. Why are you choking it? You can actually put twin and get like better results. Standard low, uh, low, low range intake manifold running on 92. Cast low. Whoa. That is insane. All right, so let's, uh, let's fire it up. So here's how the engine looks. It's a four-cylinder overhead valve, classic. Yeah, the torque is very nice, actually, yes. At least this one has torque. Yep. Very good. R right here. Basically 2,200 RPM. Or sorry, 2100 RPM. Yep. Very good. So it's a torquey engine. Okay, torque is good. I don't mind torque. Torque is very good. We'll see what happens in BeamNG. We'll see what happens. And as always, the game is broken. Let me load everything in. As I mentioned, gentlemen, if you if you can, please calculate your total category points. And write, tell me, please, if you can, if you can, 
it will help us and save us some time, please. I would really appreciate it. Uh, basically, let me show you. Basically, you have drivability, sportiness, comfort, prestige, safety, uh, practicality, and you have reliability. Well, to be honest with you, it's a pickup truck, so let's let's count off-roading also. So let's start from the beginning. Drivability, sportiness, comfort, prestige, safety, practicality, off-road, reliability, and fuel economy, and utility. So basically, calculate, add them all together, plus, 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 and tell me what's your total number. That's your TCP, total category points. <laughs> Indeed, yes, I know. It should be fun, yes. To be honest with you, I might do that. I might actually put the truck on a on a bed and like, yeah, <laughs> and tow it around. Yes, that should be funny, actually. So, for example, let me tell. Let let's calculate this one here. The total, total category points for this one. This truck here has forty three point three plus well zero. Uh, on sports, so it doesn't matter. 10.1 uh, plus 19.5 plus 21.1 plus 23.8 plus 31.5 plus 79. This thing is freakishly reliable. 79.9 plus 16.3 plus and 29.5. This thing has a total category points of 275 points. 275 freaking points. Good. Not bad. So this thing uh, is it's a bit slow actually from 0 to 100. 17 and a half seconds from 0 to 100. Manual 3 speed. Open diff. Uh, utility cross ply tires. Drums all the way with, uh, eh, with, some, with some brake fading. But it's not red so I don't mind. I don't care. Uh, no undertray whatsoever. We have a mass, although we have a lot of air brake airflow, but still. Uh, let's see, bench up front, no entertainment, no problem. M manual rack and re ah, re circulating ball. Very interesting, very basic also. All right, 1.5 tons. This thing can tow. This thing can take a load. All right, let's export it. As I mentioned, gentlemen, if you can calculate your TCP, your total category points, I would really, really appreciate it. If you don't mind, I'm going to load the previous trucks quickly and calculate their total category points so we don't miss them. And when you and when your truck comes along, when your truck comes along on the screen, you can tell me your your own total category points. <laughs> oh, this is the four cylinder. Oh yes, this is good. 73 horsepower. Basically, it's farting all the time. <laughs> the idling sound is very funny. Seventy three horsepower, gentlemen, seventy three only. Please do not explode. Please do not explode. Oh, thank God. It did not explode. And it's not moving. Ooh, not bad. 
It actually can pull this thing. 74 horse, 73 horsepower. And 141 pound feet of torque. Sweet! Yeah, I know. 141 pound feet of torque. Very good. Exactly right. So we need to keep the RPM about 2000, 2000, something like this, 2200. We will get about 140.8 pound feet of torque. Very good. All right, gentlemen. Three, two, one, go. Come on, torque! This is where the torque. Come on! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Come on! 26.855 Well, it's not that terrible. I mean, for a, for a, for 73 horsepower, 140 pound feet of torque. Let's try again. Three, two. No, wait. Let's let's set the torque optimally here. Three, two, one, go. Come on. Better 20, 26806. All right, <laughs> very good. It's funny, but I like it. Remember, we are towing 700 kilos, 775 kilos. I like it, it's very good actually. I like it, it's not terrible. Celebrating donuts. One tire fire. All right, what do we have here? Our first inline six engine for tonight. 4.2 liter inline six engine, 135.3 horsepower. Uh, it's a two barrel carb engine, 8.8 .8 to one compression, rear wheel drive, three speed automatic, uh, steel ladder chassis, steel body, 1.28 tons. All right, not bad. So this thing actually comforts check, safety check, reliability, it's not reliability. Economy check. Good. Let's take a look. Whoa, what do we have? Wow, that's that looks like a muscle car up front. That looks like a muscle car with a bed. Ooh, what do we have? Wow, that is clean. That is clean. Gorgeous interior. Love the clean interior. Oh, I see sun visors also. That is clean. Oh, look at the bed also. Wow, look at the spare wheel. That is clean. I love it. Oh, gentlemen, that is clean. Whoa, that is gorgeous, actually. What do you think, everyone? What do you think? Let's see what's under the hood. Oh, I see a radiator. Whoa, radiator with an electric old school fan. Red. 
lovely inline six engine. Sweet! I actually quite like it. The only thing is it's missing is the the front the, the windshield wipers. This thing needs windshield wipers. The creator might might have forgotten to put wipers, but it looks actually very nice. I quite like it. And also Whoa, look at the exhaust. The exhaust is right here. Side exhausts. Very sweet. And an enclosed under tray. Yep, enclosed under tray ish. It's a side pipe. And I'm looking everywhere, but I can't find. Yep, so the creator forgot two things, unfortunately. He forgotten the uh the the, the windshield wipers and the fuel filler cap. Where, where will, will you fill the truck? I don't see anything on the side. Not even the back. Like I mean, it's a pickup truck. You can't use the back. Similar to like a you know, four-door sedans. No. So yes, two things the creator forgotten. A fuel filler cap or a fuel filler door and the windshield wipers. Okay. No problem. I'm, I'm not going gonna to disqualify it without wipers. But you know, it, this thing is gorgeous. Just need... These two things, and that's it. All right, let's take a look now on the engine. So it's a six-cylinder inline six with a lot of torque, which is good. 4.2-liter engine uh, inline six, forged steel crank, forged connecting rods, and forged heavy pistons, harmonic dampers, 8.8 .8 to 1 compression, 30 on the cam, very soft springs and lifters, 3500 RPM. So basically it's a torque beast. Uh, it's a twin twin two barrel carbs, standard low uh, low intake manifold, low end intake manifold, with a big massive intake manifold size. Sweet! Cast low headers or exhaust manifold actually they call them. Nice! Straight six. Lovely. Let's fire it up. It's a torque beast, basically. For some reason, my... Every time I fire up the engine, the game frames just drops. Yeah, it's very quiet. It's deadly quiet, actually. Although everything everything is on zero, like the creator didn't mess with the with the exhaust zero. Wow, everything is on zero. Is that oh damn it! I clicked. Oh, okay. I okay. Let me load this thing again. So yes, unusually quiet. A lot of torque. Very interesting engine. It's gonna be interesting to drive. So what do we have? Uh, Three-speed automatic gearbox, 15.8 uh, seconds, so it's a bit slow actually. So far the slowest accelerating truck so far. Clutch limited slip diff, radial hard long life tires, plus 8 quality, solid discs up front. Wow, zero brake fading, bravo! Bravo indeed, our second truck with a zero brake fading. Nice and very good stopping distance also. Good, good job, absolutely good job. Bench up front, premium AM radio, very good. Hydraulic ball, uh, power steering, advanced 50s, safety equipment, 1.26 tons load capacity. Decent, absolutely decent. Absolutely decent. And you have $100 left, so you still have 100 bucks left. Sweet! Bravo! I mean, you can spend this 100 bucks on wipers and fuel filler door, but okay. Very good. Very good indeed. Oh, this one has the inline six. Ooh, limited slip diff. And an automatic gearbox. Basically, it's a drift car. 
it's, it's a drift car basically. Straight six, we will drive. You just need a manual gearbox and you are golden. Oh, please don't explode. The car is very low, or no, it's actually pretty sweet. Oh, you bitch. Oh. Oh, seriously, I will have a heart attack from these cars. Seriously, I will have a heart attack from these cars. Oh man, that was freakishly loud. Seriously, these cars will definitely give me a heart attack soon. Like seriously, like it's it's look at that. Like Look at that. It's like it's it's like it's not far away. Oh my god. Yep. Let's uh And the car exploded. Look at that. This car also exploded. <laughs> no, it did not. Oh my lord! It does not want to... Uh huh, finally. It's broken now. And no offense, but I think this is the best we can get. <laughs> I know the car is destroyed, but no offense, I think this is the best we will get. So, yeah. Okay. Oh, right. What? Close the door. Oh, don't tell me the door is broken. <laughs> oh, no. You stupid trailer. You stupid thing. And it closes, but it does not open. Okay, is it fixed? <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, I don't care. I'm gonna. I'm... No, that doesn't. That doesn't make. That that's not fair because. Okay, I'm, I'm worried about... Uh, okay, I have an idea.
Okay. Is it new? Is it attached? No. Oh, you fucking. Ah, now it's new. Just the car that is broken in front. Mm -hmm. Okay. Close. Thank you. Yep, we are golden. All right, gentlemen. All right, the V6. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Why is the gearbox doing that? That is a weird gearbox. One, two, eight, fifty. Try again. Three, two, one, go. Why is it doing that? Weird. Twenty two six six two. Wow. Twenty two six six two. L T H. L T H. Twenty two point six six. All right. Well, it's only 134 horsepower. Oh my lord, this thing is gonna be crazy. V12 in a, in a pickup truck. That is quite expensive. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Bell, about uh, Twitch is bombarding people with advertisement. I'm freakishly sorry about this. Uh, right. Yep, it's a V12, gentlemen. Our first V12. Someone actually did a V12. So 234.8 horsepower from its 7.6 liter V12 engine. Single overhead cam, shaft, four barrel carb uh, system, real drive, three speed automatics. Three speed automatic gearbox, color, so, solid uh, axle coils up front, leaves at the back. One. Near, nearly 1.6 tons, nearly, but it's actually 1,588 kilos total, total weight. My apologies, my apologies, Mr. Bell. I'm so sorry about Twitch. Twitch is bombarding people with advertisements. My apologies, everyone. I think Twitch currently has a promotion or something. If you consider, if you consider subscribing to my channel, tier one, you will get rid of these stupid ads. You will not have any any more of these stupid ads if you do subscribe. And I would really appreciate it because actually my my birthday is coming up soon. Actually, after six days. So yes, if you hate these advertisements, my apologies about them. I can't control them. They are automatically pushed by Twitch. So. Yes, if I, and there are some current promotions, actually, really, really like cheap promotions. So if you do subscribe, I would really appreciate the awesome support. Uh, and also, you will stop these stupid advertisements. Yeah, I would really appreciate it. All right, so let's continue our first V12. And this is how this beast looks like. Hmm. Not bad, actually. Looks, it's a bit squarey, but it's... <laughs> I love these, love these mounted... Uh, tail lights and, and indicators also a bit a bit no a bit you know dangerous because can you imagine loading things into the bed and like someone loading a massive crate and someone like knocks or on you know uh or you know basically break break this tail light it, it's easily broken like anyone who will load anything to the bed can easily 
break this. I mean, if you if if you want if you want any suggestions, you I would I would suggest putting put pushing this indicator down, like putting it right here, and like put this tail light or the brake light, putting it on top in, instead of this orange indicator. So like on top of each other, the red one on top, the orange on the bottom or or the opposite. But this one, oh, sorry, but my apologies, this one here on the top, it's easily broken, like. Anyone who's like loading something into the bed can easily just break it immediately, and you will get a ticket from the police for not having working tail lights. Yeah. So okay, I like the design. It's it's squarey, but it's actually not not bad at all. The interior is actually pretty damn good. Wow, dude, that's a what the hell? Shot shotgun shells? Why? <laughs> Why shotgun shell? Where's the shotgun? Whoa, over here also. Whoa, what the hell? <laughs> what the hell? So basically, you why? <laughs> it's it's a okay. Um, what? So basically, you are the, you are selling a truck with a shotgun. That's okay. That is insane, dude. Why? <laughs> Amer <laughs> America. <laughs> 1955, dude. I mean, okay. So it's like a, a pickup truck. Do you want to sell this to the mafia or something? To what the hell? Like, I, okay. So you have a V12. You have a shotgun. So is it like a drug trafficking pickup? <laughs> or I mean, it's it's you have you have an you have an overpowered engine up front. Overpowered engine, probably stolen from a luxury a luxury a luxury coupe or luxury sedan european they stole this they stole that car and like they they took the engine out of it they shoved it to this truck they put a shotgun in it and they said okay you now you can start delivering our product damn that's insane dude <laughs> oh hell yeah brother all right i'm actually i'm i'm actually shocked and uh oh look at the beautiful v12 Dude, you went all out. I like it. I like it. It might be crazy, but I like it. Nice work, seriously. Okay, so let's take a look on this V12. I'm actually excited to see what kind of an engine is this. So it's a 7.6 liter engine. Tons of torque. Good lord, 421 pound feet of torque. That's a lot of torque, dude. That's a freakishly crazy amount of torque. And it's not... Terrible, it's actually fuel efficient for a V12, 18.9. That's insane. And it's a super smooth, obviously it was stolen from a Rolls Royce or something. Uh, reliable, well, it's a V12, you have 12 cylinders, 12 spark plugs, 12... Wow, they, I mean, the distributor, the, the ignition distributor on this thing is a nightmare, basically. You have 12 ports and 12 spark plugs wires. Going to each, so it's a nightmare to fix. But okay, it's, a, it's owned by the mafia, so no problem. Freakishly heavy, near nearly half a ton, nearly half a ton of an engine up front. Yep, 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 yep. So cast heavy crank, cast heavy connecting rods, cast piston. Everything is cast heavy, heavy, heavy all the way. Nine point five to one compression, very small camshafts. Very soft springs and lifters. Uh, twin carbs for this beast? I mean, this thing... Wow, actually, twin carbs is, is actually pretty pretty sufficient. You, you don't need more. My apologies. I, I thought triple will be, will be needed here, but no. T twin is more than enough, actually. And, and there are small carbs also. Look at the size. 15. So you have two options. You can actually go single large or twin small. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, twin, it's more expensive, obviously. Because twin carbs. Maybe you can go single carb, but like make it large. I, I don't know. I haven't tested yet. I don't know who's cheaper, which cheaper or which is better. But I'm saying, you know, if you want to save some money. But, you know, if it's owned by the mafia, so... Who cares? And by the way, gentlemen, for for our VIP viewers, my apologies for this. Uh, I haven't said earlier. I'm I'm currently in the VIP voice channel. So if you are a subscriber to my Twitch, 
uh, or a subscriber to my Patreon page, VIP subscriber, you can also get on on the microphone with me on Discord. If you get if you subscribe, if your account on on Discord is connected with your Twitch and you do subscribe to the VIP tier, you will get added automatically to the uh, VIP channel and you can get on the microphone with me we can talk we can judge we can talk about the cars judge them and yeah it will be awesome in forza it's super funny but in, in automation it's even better because we can discuss cars so yeah so say so, uh oh, mr niche said uh, mr no mr uh mr knows So someone ping him when we, okay when we test the McNamara, I need to ping this guy on Discord. Okay, no problem. All right, so let's fire it up. Wow, seriously, that's pretty sweet. Oh, this thing sounds awesome. I, I mean, this thing looks absolutely stolen from a Rolls Royce. <laughs> Seriously. Or a Bentley or something. I mean, look at it. It looks luxurious. It looks, you know, the, the, the dark red engine block, the dark red cylinder heads. I mean, absolutely looks stolen from a Rolls Royce and shoved into this, <laughs> into this pickup truck thing. God, I love this thing. I love it. Oh, Mr. 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 Um, Samo. Oh, Samo Starker. You changed your name. Damn, I didn't. I didn't recognize you. You said you posted in this car showcase my semi truck build. It's interesting what you can build. Indeed. I hope it's functional, BMG. So what do we have? Uh, next, uh, it's real drive, three speed automatic, 12. I mean, there's a beast of, a, of an engine, but it's actually slow from 0 to 100, 13.2 seconds. Okay. Uh, limited to 185 kilometers per hour. I don't know why. Perhaps to make tires cheaper. Manual locker differential. Differential. Uh, radial hard long life tires. Plus five quality. Solid axles up front. Sorry, sorry, solid, solid brakes up front. Drums at the back. No, no problem. Bench, premium, premium AM radio, hydraulic power steering, standard 50s. Whoa, this thing can take up to five, near, nearly nearly 5 tons, 4.9 tons actually of load capacity. Damn, this thing is crazy. I, I, I mean, now I'm sure this thing was built to for, for, for drug, drug trafficking. So basically, they took this pickup truck like from an army base or an army basically it's an army truck body and chassis they stole a v12 from a european sports car or supercar or something or an airplane and then they beefed up the rear suspension to make it take extremely heavy loads at the back of like narcotics and drugs and things oh my god i'm sure now it's mafia owned this thing damn it's absolutely insane it's absolutely freaking insane. Hello, Mr. Zaki. Privet, Kagdila. Hello, Mr. Zaki. Stotis Kazalini, pretty my Patishdi. And yes, if people don't know this yet, I do speak some Russian. I'll go to Kuronovo in a week until the second look at the Baltic waves, my uncustom. Ah, and the sea will be both shipping there. Oh, serious now? Wow, ito, ito atlitsne, ito super. Starojno, pajalsta, okay? Starojno, Mr. Mr. Zaki. All right, so let's see. Uh, so Kagdila says, Mr. Zaki. All right, so gentlemen, I'm actually extremely, extremely, extremely excited to test drive this thing. But first, let's calculate the total category points of this behemoth. Uh, 41.8 plus 15 plus 46.7 plus 20 plus 25 plus uh, 6.7 plus 54. Wow, reliability is freakishly low. 
uh, let's say 10.6 plus 38.1 plus. Well, yes, total category points is not that high, but it's uh, not bad. It's not crazy low. It's not the lowest, but it's, it's pretty low, actually. Being very low reliability and very heavy and yeah. So 258.6 for the Goliath. Beautiful. Alright, very good. Let's export this thing to beamage the drive. Fuck. So basically we have 400 foot pound of torque. Oh, automatic! So, V12 Beast now, 400 foot-pound of torque, it's gonna be insane, come on, holy moly that was freakishly, that was scary as hell, damn I jumped out of, holy crap I jumped, damn I jumped really I'm gonna lower my <laughs> I'm gonna lower my headphones. I'm actually I jumped. I hate BM BMNG when it does that. Don't son of a God I hate BMNG when it does that. And it's broken. Yep. What? Um... Stop crashing you... Oh my lord, this thing is... Alright. Stop doing that! Stupid truck. No offense to the creator. Okay. Our weight has run has run away. No offense to the creator. <laughs> I know. All right, let's see now. Here we go, gentlemen. Three, two, one, go. To be honest with you, I was expecting a better performance. Um, 22.23. I was expecting a, a better performance, actually. Mm. Okay. Diff lock. 
And should I control it manually? Like, should I shift it manually or, or let the gearbox shift on its own? Like, I tried, I, I let the gearbox shift on its own. That helped actually, we'll spin. But yeah, it's automatic. So, what do you think? Shift it manually? What do you think, gentlemen? I mean, it's automatic. There we go. Three, two, one, go. So first gear is just like... So first gear is useless, by the way. So first gear is really useless, by the way. Twenty-one Twenty-one seventy-seven. I did. So twenty-one seventy-seven. What was this, what was this thing's name? My apologies. What was the name of this thing? Twenty-one. 77 Ah, uh, Goliath, yes, Goliath, sorry Gola... Goliath, yes 2177 So, uh, to be honest, it, it's I'm, I, I'm shocked because it's not the fastest in this in this challenge My, Like, with, with this with this engine, I really thought like it's gonna be the, the craziest I have an idea. No, not now, not now, not now. Now, now let's now let's drive these things with that trailer. Later we'll be we'll be seeing what's the quarter mile without a weight. But now let's continue. So what do we have here? Another V8, six liter overhead valve, two barrel carb, 186 horsepower, rear wheel drive. 4-speed manual, double wishbone up front, solid axle, leaves at the back, steel ladder, chassis, steel body. Whoa, that is delicious. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is absolutely yum yum all the way. Why my game is lagging? What the hell? Just a moment, let me check quickly my settings. Why the game is lagging? For some reason, my graphics card is like... So... 100% scale, environmental, high, 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 shadows, medium. My average FPS is like 60, okay, but why is it dropping? I don't understand. Okay, let's try again. Still, still choppy a little bit. I don't understand. Okay, so this thing looks absolutely gorgeous. What do you think, everyone? What do you think? Mr. Zaki, Ben Ravitzetto. What do you think, gentlemen? Look at this! Oh lord, this thing is absolutely 1950s all the way with the V8 logo. Whoa, look at the interior. How beautiful is this interior? Wow, to be honest with you, I quite like it. Anarchy says, I'm at work, so I can't talk too much. However, my truck... Uh, the Atlas A100 has a unique feature that I'm pretty sure no truck has so far in, in this challenge. Has butterfly hood! Ser seriously, wow! 
chocolate banana paint, yeah. Oh, that's what I call a heavy duty bed. Very splint splintery wood. That's what I call a rear bed. A splintery wood bed. Oh, and I love this sunshade thing on the, on the windshield. I love this thing. A lot of classic trucks used to used to put this like like a sunshade on the outside. I love this thing. Absolutely gorgeous. 1950 all the way. And look at the engine. The engine is absolutely painted. It's like Ford blue. Yep, it's like Ford blue. Everything, the block, the sump, the the valve covers, everything is like Ford blue. Lovely. The intake manifold is kind of kind of strange, but anything else, I actually quite like it. Yep. Oh, that's your truck, Canola. Damn, dude, it's absolutely awesome. Texas 55. Yes, period correct. Very good. Absolutely love this thing. Beautiful work, Mr. Canola. What do you think, gentlemen? What do you think so far about this beast? So, 6 liter V8 then. Uh, forged steel crank, forged connecting rods, cast pistons, harmonic dampers. I'm a damper, sorry. 9.61 compression, 29 on the cam, 31 on the springs and lifters, 186 horsepower, but you have 300 pound feet of torque. That's a lot of torque. 4400 RPM limit, and I see two barrel, single two barrel carb, 73 on the car on the carb size, standard low low range intake manifold. That's a decent engine. That is a beautiful, compact cast. Wow, this is the first guy that I that I've, this is the first time that I've seen someone uses compact cast headers. These things are absolutely choking the hell out of the engine. Well, not actually not that much. The carburetor is actually the carburetor is choking the hell out of the engine. But I think these it's like this to to produce torque. I believe. Yep. So pretty sweet. Let's fry it up. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. And as always, the game is just acting up. Let me load this car again. Let me load again. Okay, okay, Zaki. So. That's such a such a nice engine. Be, be nice work, Mr. Canola. It's such a beautiful engine and beautiful looks looking truck. So rear wheel drive, manual, four speed, nine seconds from zero That's very nice actually. Top speed about 183. Manual lockers, radial utility, plus 13 on the tires. Wow. Solid discs up front, drums at the back, not bad. A little bit oversteer at high speed, so it's. Maybe not stable. Bench up front, standard into your standard AM radio, very nice. Manual uh, recirculating ball, manual basically manual, manual steering, standard safety equipments, progressives, 2.2.8 tons with a very strange looking suspension. Hopefully it's it's gonna be good in BMNG. All right, very nice. But before we before we export the truck, let's let's calculate the total. Category points. Right. 35.9 plus 1.9 plus 10 plus 43.4 plus 21.8 plus 25.8 plus 7 plus 69 plus 11.1 plus 28.5 plus 254.4. Wow, second to last. Second to last. So it's not the not the least amount of total category points, but it's second to last. 254.4 for the Glendale, Glendale 21. Okay. Next. Alright, here we go. Let's let, but before next, let's export this thing. 
very nice work, Mr. Mr. Uh, Mr. Canola. To control the wheel spin, but it's like there's a lot of torque, and it's really sweet. Ooh. I th I think that's Mr. Canola's guy's car. Oh my god, you can actually wheel spin this thing on 4th gear! Alright! Why torque you actually? Look at that! I'm like I'm. Look at it. Look at this! I, I'm pushing. I'm pushing like eight percent of the throttle, and like it's going. Look. Nine percent throttle, and look, it's going very nicely. Wow! Nice torque. All right. Very good. Here we go, gentlemen. Three, two, one, go. Twenty two eight. Not bad, twenty two eight. Yeah, it's a lot of torque. I want to try something. My apologies. Okay, first let me write let me write something. What is this thing? This is the uh what was the name of this one? It's a very very weird name. Ah, it's written on the back. Wait, let me let me Ah, the Glendale. Okay, so Glendale did it in 22.81. Okay, so let me try something. Okay, so... So 22.8 this thing did, yes? Will it get faster or slower if I lock the diff? So if it gets faster, this number should be replaced with a better number. So, here we go. Now I lock the diff. Will it get better or worse? I don't know. Three, two, one, go. Slightly better, <laughs> not much, not much better. So the previous number was, previous number was twenty-two point eight one. Oh my God, twenty-two point eight one. Now it's twenty-two point eight zero nine. So just by zero zero one zero point zero zero one seconds improvement. Wow. So locking the diff will give you uh, an improvement of about 0, 0 0.1 seconds faster. Okay. Yeah, I'll just deal with the machine with that. Okay, so next, uh, the Drut Roadmaster 412. I'm going to go to the Drut Roadmaster 412. 
Uh, so Drew Roadmaster, what do we have? 6.8 liters. So basically that, that's a 412 cubic inches, maybe. Uh, V8, overhead valve, two barrel carb, rear wheel drive, ladder for, 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 for gear, for, for speed manual gearbox. Oh my God. Calls up front, leaves at the back. All right, so far so good. 20 is good. Where is this thing here? Uh, 10 good. Okay, all good. Ooh, another beast. Another beast of this particular body. Such, such gorgeous. Such gorgeous design. Whoa! <laughs> is that a Magnum or is that Smith & Western? Is that a Magnum? Or a Smith & Western? I don't know. I don't, I'm not really a gun expert, but... Damn, that's insane. And, oh! A, tr a, a cat! There's a kitten. And a Coca-Cola over here. Wow. That's not bad, actually. That's pretty sweet. California license plate. So there's a, there is a cat. There's a, a pistol and a Coca-Cola. And a beer bottle. Beer. That's beer. Wow, okay. Lovely pedals. Yep, we did. We did. We did Crispy Shaman, yes, already. Pretty decent. I love this thing. Absolutely gorgeous. So V8 under the hood. I see a radiator, I see a brake master cylinder on, on the wrong side, <laughs> because the driver is right here, the pedals are down there. Why would you put the master cylinder here? It should be right here. The pedals are right here. How? How can the pedal, when you push the pedal, you are pushing a rod, basically. How can the rod go all the way there? <laughs> That's, <laughs> that doesn't make sense, but okay, here we have a brake, brake, brake master. Uh, what do we have up front? Uh -huh. So what do we have here? As you can see, gentlemen, we have we have a battery up on the side. Very very hard to access to access this battery and replace it. Extremely difficult. And also, I see some tube chassis going on. Yep, it's like a tube. Tubular chassis system, I see. Yep, that's a tube chassis around the engine, hugging the engine. Yep, that's a tube chassis. For what? I don't know, but okay. You have a tube chassis, and I see a cooling fan also. Mechanical cooling fan. Well, I actually quite like the design. I love the, the interior, I love the exterior, it's pretty decent. Quite like it, actually. Well, I like this thing. Very nice. Damn, this 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 challenge is gonna be difficult actually to decide which which one of the which one of, which of these is the prettiest at the end of the video. It's gonna be really difficult, but we'll see. Yes, indeed, I I too like it. So 6.8 liter V8 uh, started life as six and a half liter. It was overboard by two millimeters on the bore. Forged interior, forged crank, forged connecting rods, cast pistons, harmonic dampers, 7.5 to 1 compression, 30 on the cams, 40 on the lifters and springs, two barrel, twin carbs, mid range, a lot of torque, 335 pound feet. That's 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 very good torque. That is very very good. So far the highest V8 torque. The V12 is the king of the torque in this challenge, but the V the V8 so far this one is the highest torquey V8 so far. Yep, that's a torque monster. Very quiet. Right, 
So very good actually. Manual four speed gearbox, rear wheel drive, 9.7 seconds from 0 to 100. Manual locker diff, top speed 239, cross ply, hard long life tires, solid disc, discs up front, drums at the back. Ooh, another brace zero brake fader, uh, but brake distance. I've seen better. I've seen better. So this is 63. It's a bit high. I've seen 58 in this challenge. Uh, but so so far so good. Luxurious bench up front. Premium AM radio. Again, manual gearbox. Sorry, manual steering box. Sorry. 1.3 tons of load capacity. Very good. Very good. Why well, I like it. All right, let's calculate the total category points of this beast before we export it. 39.5 plus 23, sorry, 2.3 plus 14.6 uh, plus 45.6 plus 23.2 plus 29.9 plus 11 plus 61.7 plus 10.6 plus and 17.8 plus 256.2. 256.2. All right. Root master. Okay. 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 Here we go. Now let's export this thing to Beam and G and move on. The, the V12 had about 400 plus pound feet of torque, the V12. 400 plus it's it, it's a beast basically when it comes to torque the v12 or a city mr zack any vision this all drifting with a cat at the back and a pistol Wow, the tow hitch is pretty far away, actually. <laughs> oh, the the oh the, the it's a weird tow hitch because because it's a bit low, the car is a bit high. It's oh my god! So the car is low, the 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 trailer is high. Very weird. All right, here we go. The Drut. All right, here we go, gentlemen. Three, two, one. Ooh, twenty four, twenty one point four. Twenty one point four for nine actually. Very nice. So far uh Drut twenty one point four nine. Nice. Very good actually. Very good, very good, Mr. Carboy. Oh. No, it's very good. So Let's take a look. Ah, understood, understood. The butterfly hood, yes, yes. So it's basically the same hood, but with this, you got this piece in the middle. Because the hood will open like a butterfly. It's like two wings. It will open like uh, like two wings. This this side and this side. And we have a freakishly red warning. Oh man, another one. Another break. Oh, damn it. Another break. Another another red red flasher. Another red flasher. Damn it. Why? So twenty four point okay, that's good. That's good. And that's good. 
Yeah, me too. Classic cars has more soul. Right. So what do we have? Rear-wheel drive, manual for speed, 10.4 seconds as it's 100, manual, custom, custom gearbox, I see, manual lockers, brakes, sorry, tires, plus 10 quality. Oh, basically the brakes are garbage, no offense, like the front brakes. Basically when you load anything, to the, like when this thing is towing, when this thing has a load, basically the front brakes will catch on fire immediately. Ah, oh, man. So, I'm, as always, I'm gonna export this thing. I'm gonna export it to bmng.drive. But I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna count it. Oh, oh my god. And also, there is a reliability in, on, the, on the engine. Not only it's red flasher. Also, there's a stress on the connecting rods. I said no... Zero engine connecting rods, zero engine stress. This one has a 1% engine stress. So this thing broke engine stress rules and the red flashing warning lights rule. So yes, I'm going to export this thing to BeamNG. But I'm not going to count it as a winner or something. Right. No offense to the creator, but yeah, no offense, but I said zero zero percent engine stress. And one question, please. Should I lock the diff? A lot of you guys went with manual lockers diffs. Would you like me to lock the diff or not? For the drag strip. What do you think? Oh, sorry, for the for the for the towing drag thing. What do you think? Lock the diff or not? No lock? Carboy said no lock. Okay. Alright, everyone ready? All right, here we go. So, 22.50, 22.50, the Atlas, Atlas, 22.50, alright, not bad. Next, why the red fucking flashing warning lights? Ah, oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. So, apparently this is called the Studebaker. It was something absolutely gorgeous in the 50s, and this one is looking absolutely gorgeous. This is not easy to do, this. This paint job area here, it's not easy to... The creator definitely spent a lot of time on this thing. The Studebaker, yep. The chains, the, the tail lights. I mean it's it's like it's nearly a replica of the real of the real deal. It's like nearly a replica of the real deal that the 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 Studebaker. <laughs> Look at this. But why is it a freaking flasher again? Why? Why let's let's take a look. 2.7 tons. Why? Why 2.7? Who asked? Who told you to put 2.7 tons? Oh, man. Again, the guy here tried to push as much quality into the brakes. Look at that. 
plus 12. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter because automation system will calculate if you have too much load capacity. If you have too much load capacity, the game will say you need you, you will have you need a lot of breaking to stop this behemoth. Although it's not correct because in BMNG in BMNG, BMNG doesn't count if your truck will can load a million kilograms at the back. BMNG will not do that. BMNG will think will think uh, uh, if you if you use if you use very very strong brakes in automation to kill utility fading in BMNG you will have extremely bad brakes the bra the brakes will just lock the the, the discs they will, they will lock the wheels immediately because you pushed a lot of brake force for utility but when you drive the car normally in BMNG Anytime you you come close to the brakes, like you, the the wheels will just lock and lock and lock and lock. That's bad. Don't do that. I, why did I choose one ton? Because one ton, a thousand kilo in the back, a thousand kilo, you can still use decent normal brakes that can be controlled in BMNG. Anything above one ton, yes, you can build two tons or three tons, and you can make the brakes by magic, zero brake fading. But when you drive it in BMNG, it will lock the wheels immediately. Anytime you just gently touch the brakes, the thing will just lock straight into a wall, basically. Don't do that. Yeah. No offense. I love this thing. I love replica builds. Amazing, beautiful work. But 2.7 tons at the back. 2.7 tons. I asked for a ton only. But I love it. It's absolutely gorgeous. Again, I'll still export this thing into BMNG, but it's, yeah, it's to the baker. So this thing has a 4. Point, you can say 4.2 and a half liter V8, cast all the way, harmonic damper, 9.021 compression, 25, 30, 4400 in engine RPM, single four barrel carbs, standard low low deck manifold running on 92 cost low profile headers which is sweet let's fire it up mm, beautiful i love the block paint is beautiful actually Are you using ABS or not? I'm I'm using ABS only on the cars that has ABS. If your car does, if it's a classic car without an ABS, basically I have to control the brakes myself. And if your brakes are very very twitchy and very very sensitive, yes, they will lock immediately. I never use ABS on all cars. I use ABS only on modern cars. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll see now. I, I'll. I'll I'll show you. I'll prove my point. Uh, but okay, I love the studio baker. I was actually really looking forward for this thing. I saw the pictures, the advertisement. The guy sent me. Damn it! Manual four speed, ten point seven seconds from zero to hundred. Top speed about one sixty six. Limited. The the tires are cross ply utility tires, steel rims obviously. Drums up front, drums at the back. Uh, off road skid tray. Wait. Well, that that could have cured it a little bit, putting brake airflow, but he didn't. Bench up front, premium um, hydraulic power steering. Two point seven. That's a lot. As I mentioned. Okay, like it. Let's export it to BeamNG and then let's move on to BeamNG.Drive and see what happens. And by the way, uh, automation developers actually said they are, they are like on the current automation version, the engine sizes are not particularly uh, particularly ac accurate. So on the next update, on the next automation update, they will actually fix this. They will they will fix the engine 3D model sizing. So, and if you are like on the current version, like look at this truck. This thing is using a 4.3 liter V8, but it looks like a it looks like a tiny lawnmower engine inside this 
body, which is not really doesn't doesn't make any sense. So you can actually go into the three D model uh, options on the bottom left of the screen. You can click on it. You can click on the engine size. And you can actually make the three D model like bigger to fit the engine bay. It, it's it's not gonna make your engine more more powerful or or increase the capacity. No, just a three D model. It will make it bigger just to make the engine bay looks a bit more realistic. Okay, that's a lot of wheel spin. <laughs> Why the tires feels like they're running on soap? Okay. All right, we are connected. I keep mixing between Forza buttons and BMG buttons. All right, here we go. Would you like to test on the drag strip, gentlemen? Would you like on the drag strip? On the on the on the prepared tarmac, or on the real world, the real the real the real world doesn't have super glue. What do you think? What do you think, gentlemen? Real world or drag strip? Drag strip is very sticky, so if you have bad tires, you have better chance. No drag step. Okay. Real yes. Okay. Here we go. Now the studio baker. Let's see. Come on. Right, 23. Stud Baker did it in 23. Stud Stud Baker did it in 23.0.02. All right. Good. Not bad. Come on. Uh, will it fit? Oh, actually fit. Whoa, it was actually designed perfectly. Wow. First gear. Wow, this thing actually did fit. Close the truck. Close the trailer, sorry. And we should be golden. Oh, that's heavy. The engine is sitting right, th right there, and like, let's see. All right, I'm gonna do a test run. So, what do we have here? We have the distant distance meter, which will calculate how fast it will go in a quarter mile. All right, my truck has 238 horsepower, let's see. Come on. So 21, 21.6 seconds, 21.6 seconds, yep, all right, so let's say I'm going to start sometimes my truck 21.6. One six seconds. Okay, good. Next. Now let's first uh, unbuckle this thing. All right. Let's load the next thing. So this is the by far the fastest 
truck in this challenge. So this is by far the winner. Congratulations to the Droot for creating the best towing pickup from 19, 1955. Beautiful looks, beautiful performance, lovely. Now, the car with the highest total category points. The next one has the highest total category points in this challenge of 200 and... Uh, 278.4 points with its with its straight six engine 241 pound feet of torque it was very very interesting also congratulations to the to the best tuned tuned car in automation game with the highest total category points yeah and now, of course, we'll be talking about the prettiest car in this challenge. The prettiest car. I'll be doing a vote. I'll be doing a vote on on Discord. I'm going to put in a vote on Discord about the prettiest car in this challenge. And everyone will vote on it. And we'll see which one is the prettiest car. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is pretty much it for the 1950s. For the 1950s pickup trucks challenge i'm really really happy that you guys sent your amazing creations as i mentioned i'm going to be putting a vote on discord for the prettiest for the prettiest truck in this challenge don't forget to go there and check out the awesome trucks and vote for the prettiest one i'm going to be putting that vote shortly over there so stay tuned for that and of course, thank you so much, everyone, for joining in and for watching. Congratulations for the for the winners, the pretty, the the one with the highest total category points, and the fastest car in this challenge for winning the brute uh, quad fire, the the truck that I created myself for this awesome challenge. Congratulations! I hope that you will enjoy it, enjoy driving this beast, and I'll see you, gentlemen, hopefully soon with the next awesome challenge. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I'll see everyone very very soon. Have a wonderful night, everyone, and stay awesome, stay cool, and congratulations to everyone for participating and for being awesome, and good night, and goodbye for all of you, my friends.